Okay, have you ever been on a cross-country flight, say you're flying at 10,000 feet, and you want to know when you need to begin your descent to reach pattern altitude in time? Well, let's calculate it. Okay, so let's do that. Let's say that we are flying at 10,000 feet, and we want to land at Lebanon, which is going to be at 2300. And then this area is going to signify our descent path. See, easy. Or we can just plug it into the Garmin. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Let's run through how to use VCalc. Okay, so I've got the GNX375 pulled up on the GPS Trainer app on my iPad Mini. If you have the app, feel free to follow along. I highly recommend you download it. This utility also works well in the GNC355 and the GPS175, so the workflow will be the exact same if you have either of these three units. So every good VCalc begins with a good flight plan, so we can start there. And let's just do a simple point-to-point -point flight plan, say from Columbia to Lebanon. So I'll go ahead and throw KLBO in there. And we can preview this flight plan to make sure that we've got it set up correctly. Now I'm going to go ahead and get our cruise configured. So I'll give us some airspeed. And I'll give us some altitude so we don't get any terrain warnings. And we'll go ahead and set the autopilot on. So then we'll begin navigating on our own. So now that we are in Cruise, we need to configure our VCalc. So to access the VCalc utility, we can come down here to Utilities and go to the VCalc screen. Now, this is pretty simple. If you are familiar with a VNav, say in a Garmin GTN Series Navigator, it's a little more complicated, so you'll have this down pat. But let's run through step-by-step -step how to configure this. There are a couple of ways that you can configure this. So you can either go at a set interval above a waypoint, or you can specify an exact altitude MSL. Either way, it works the exact same. So here I want to arrive at Lebanon at about pattern altitude. So we will go ahead and leave it at the default 1000 feet above the waypoint. If you want to specify MSL, just click on this, change it to MSL, and then you can adjust your altitude here. Now here in the vertical speed profile, we can set our descent rate. I happen to really like the 500 foot per minute descent, but if you're flying something with a little faster wing on it, you can increase that descent rate or decrease it if you don't want to cool your engine that fast. That's completely up to you. Now we do need to specify an offset, so you can change this to zero, which will put you at your specified altitude right when you get to the waypoint. So especially if you're trying to arrive at traffic pattern, I like to get to my traffic pattern altitude about three to five miles away from the airport. I'll go ahead and stick with the default three, three nautical mile offset, but once again, you can change this to whatever figure you want. And then we need to select our waypoint. Now, since we're navigating with an active flight plan, we can just go ahead and select Lebanon, which is our destination in the flight plan. And you'll see that now we have this countdown timer that begins, and it says that we need to begin our descent in 26 minutes. Or if we wanted to start our descent now, we would need to descend at 72 feet per minute to reach our target altitude at our desired offset. Now, something I talked about in the GPS tutorial videos that I made is I really like having this configurable user field here in the top left corner that has our TOD countdown. So then we don't have to keep going back and forth between the map and the VCalc utility. If you don't have this feature and you want it enabled, just come here to the menu, go to configure user fields, click on the field that you want, and then select this time to TOD utility. And then anytime you have the VCalc active, it's gonna start counting down. So then you're always in the loop on how, how far out you need to begin your descent. This is also handy because, you know, three to five minutes before I begin my descent, I wanna start running my descent checklist. I wanna get my passenger briefing done. So it's a really good way to make sure that you're not rushed into your descent. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and we will come back to you when we are one minute prior to descent so we can see exactly how this is going to behave. So one minute prior to TOD, we'll get a message that tells us that we are approaching top of descent. And it's really nice because we get kind of the shortcut button here to quickly access the VCalc screen. So now you'll see that our status it says it's about ready, it's about time to descend. And you can see our vertical speed required is about to start closing in on that 500 foot per minute threshold. So you're still to the point now where if you wanted to begin your descent, you'd have to descend at about 450 feet per minute. So then once we start reaching that, then we need to begin our descent. 
Okay, so now that we've crossed our top of descent point, you can see here the time goes away and we begin descending. So at this point in time, you would configure your GFC 500 or 600 autopilot to descend at a rate of 500 feet per minute, or you could go ahead and adjust your pitch and your power to maintain that 500 foot per minute descent rate. Now, if at any time we want to check in on our VCALC utility, we can come back to this screen and see that, hey, we need to descend at 503 feet per minute now to reach our desired altitude by the offset point. So this would be an indication of if your vertical speed required is higher than your preset altitude, then you need to begin descending faster in order to catch back up with that glide path. So back on the map, you can see that we are continuing to descend. And once we reach our bottom of descent point, we'll get another message telling us to level off. Now, I will also mention if you're doing this correctly, you will go ahead and reach your desired altitude by the three nautical mile waypoint. So this could be kind of a good judge on how far you need to be until you need to level off. Once again, it's gonna be just a trick of maintaining that relationship between your pitch and your airspeed. So now we've gotten a message saying that we are arriving our target altitude with once again with this hotkey to reach the VCALC screen. And once we hit our three nautical mile waypoint, then we will be at our bottom of descent. We can take over and begin to enter the traffic pattern and maneuver to land at that airport. So this is a fantastic utility that just eliminates the guesswork out of descent planning. All you need to do is put the correct inputs into the GPS unit and let it do the heavy lifting, let it tell you when to descend, let it tell you when to level off, so on and so forth. So that concludes this video on how to use the VCALC utility on any of the Garmin GPS series navigators. You can tell it's a pretty simple and straightforward system, but it's extremely handy for cross-country planning. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I thank you for watching this video till the end. You guys fly safe and we'll see you in the next video.